In this video, I will focus on true winter and true summer as misconceptions for Alexis Bladell, who is sometimes typed as true summer, soft summer, or even bright winter, and Lauren Graham, who was typed as a true winter pilot. Here, as usual, I see what is distinctively wrong with this myth. The key takeaways, true winter and true summer colors have distinct differences and similarities. Understanding the color analysis system is key to determining your seasonal color palette. True winter colors are cool, deep, intense, while true summer colors are cool, they are way softer than winter and sort of muted but concentrated, wearing those true colors can enhance your natural beauty and make you look more vibrant. Characteristics of true winter colors True winters are characterized by cool undertones in their complexion with deep contrast between their hair and skin tones. Their natural coloring is often described as strikingly beautiful with high contrast features. The true winter palette consists of bold jewel tones such as royal blue, teal, ruby reds along with icy pastels like lavender or icy pink shades which perfectly complement their uh, cool undertone. True summers, on the other hand, have cool undertones in their complexion but with a softer contrast between their hair and skin tones compared to true winters. Their natural coloring is often described as delicate and more ethereal. Alexis Bladell seasonal color analysis. There has been a whole debate about what Alexis really is, whether she is soft summer, true summer or even bright winter. It's always very interesting to analyze and show people some obvious ideas they don't see yet. In order to dismantle the face of any soft palette, let's uh, see first the grayness in her appearance. The gray color test obviously comes first and we have a great canvas uh, to work with. She has very pale skin naturally with medium brightness in the eyes and sort of ashy dark hair and the thing that confuses people the most is the fact that she has clarity in her skin, the brightness. Normally people would add one plus one as of bright eyes and bright skin, that would uh, be bright winter or grayish natural hair that would fall into the category of soft summer. People see her uh, mostly in the cold seasonal type. But the wait to jump to a conclusion. On top of that, if you look at her in these two examples of the gray color, it really doesn't do well with her. It does not enhance her nor her personality. It does not make her eyes pop nor her skin appear healthier. In the first example, her skin is so pale and white that the grayness phases her out. All of her appearance becomes instantly gray. Her skin becomes sickly pale, her hair becomes mousy gray color and her eyes, they don't have the spark. Uh, they become more gray. Well, you're not sure yet, look at this picture and tell me what these pastel colors actually do for her. With or without the makeup, it does absolutely nothing to her to make her look better. She might feel comfortable in those outfits, but if we are discussing the color that fits her, that's a miss. Let's see other pastels just to be 100% sure. And this light pastel blue hue that she is wearing in both these pictures adds to the paleness of her skin. In order to wear them more confidently for her, she needs to bronze a little bit. Otherwise, there is no enhancement. It doesn't play well for her. Uh, needless to say, with other very pale beige or yellow colors that almost fade her out from the surface of the surroundings. This clarity will not only be available for the cold type. If you take a closer look at her appearance, you will also notice that she has ginger freckles all over her face and body. Also, take a look at the hair color that she is wearing. Her eyes are instantly brighter with the chestnut shade. You can actually appreciate the beauty and the brightness of her eyes. Not sure yet? Look at this. In the first picture, Alexis is wearing the True Summer deep dark teal color. Her eyes look instantly dim and gray. Take a look at this other picture with a drastic difference. Her skin shines, this clarity that she has started actually playing out well in the right direction for her. Let's see here where Alexis is actually leaning towards the warm or the cool, cold season. Looks fabulous with the golden outfits. While she has an obvious inclination towards the warm golden shade, 
there is a dubious question still hovering upon. Did you also like her in this left picture with the red lips? Yes, me too. However, if you take these two pictures and compare the two different silver shades, you will notice a very subtle difference in the intensity and shading of this grayness. In the other picture, the gray color is very intense and plays more with the blue allure. It's on the blue side. The silver in the first picture has such subtlety and delicacy that it's almost impossible to figure out. In the upper part of the garment, we spot that the tulle fabric is almost transparent, so most of the colors is located way lower than the chest. It's far from the face. In both pictures, the actress has two different skin colors, so it will be obvious that in contrast with the warmer skin color, this subtle light gray will look refreshing rather than choking her with the color. There is also the diamond silver necklace that she is wearing, and it's obvious this is not exactly how she should be wearing it. Not in this color completion. Here again, I see two different skin shades and this is why she should keep some of her colors for specific occasions with different skin shades. Doesn't it look much better in the other picture? And now let's see what does work for her 100%. It's almost unbelievable, right? Bright, grassy, emerald, intensive color with lighter chestnut hair that is what really works for all of her features to shine. Look at the brightness of her eyes. That's amazing what a color can do to your overall appearance. Her skin is very subtle, fine. It's very delicate and almost translucent in, an, in her natural state. This is also one of the reasons that uh, the actress would also have an angelic and ingenue essence about her. I took this spring pink color to your attention here for you to see how this type of skin can reflect colors near the face and also can make your own redness and pink hue uh, go to the, to the surface. Uh, but for Alexis it all works really well because this red hair and pink hue pigmentation in the skin is actually what she really needs in the light of this composition of colors. See the golden earrings really fit her features and her skin tonality. Let's see if she is a spring type here. Now these two pictures were taken in different time lapses. Fuchsia and salmon pink are both created with red pigmentation in them. Look how well it reflects on Alexis, doesn't it? I love these bright spring and true spring colors on her. Both bright red and pink work like magic on her. Her skin type fits so well with the red pigment in her hair, in her wardrobe, and even her red undertone and ginger freckles. Once again, the red dress looks just marvelous on her. The true autumn is not bad, but the autumn season really tends to mute her uh, her brightness and her clarity down. This is not where she needs to go. Love these pink undertone colors. Uh, for her they look almost soft summer, but those are from the light spring color palette actually. So far Alexis is able to work through bright spring, true spring and even some options of light spring. Needless to say, bright spring works very well for her. In this example, we automatically exclude the bright winter. She doesn't have this snow white effect, not enough clarity as winter should have, but navy blue works well for her. I'd probably rather see her with more red tinted hair and without this black eyeliner. Here is what I meant. The hair color uh, and this dress, that's a good combination if you want to look more put together and calmer. Look at how vivid her eyes, eye color is with this set of spring colors. Here again we can clearly see the ginger freckles on the arms, makes it very obvious that she needs to stick to the spring season. I would suggest that Alexis Bladell is a spring transit. If you want to be more precise that would be a uh, bright spring because she still has high clarity and she can also transition within the spring palettes which are the true spring and light spring occasionally. I would definitely avoid canon autumn colors like dark brown and summer colors like dark teal blue. Those summer pastels wash her out and the canonic autumn colors are really muting her brightness down. Now let's see Lauren Graham who was previously typed as a true winter color palette. 
Let's see first why people think she might be the typical true winter type. To be a canonical winter type, you must be of a cold undertone. So hypothetically, pitch black needs to work wonders on you. Lauren's appearance might be confusing because a lot of colors that are almost unexplainable fit her really well. If we look at those pictures and they obviously were taken in different time lapses like Lauren 30 years ago and Lauren now, we can see this um, same pitch black color works in different ways. I wouldn't call her undertone precisely winterish, meaning cold, it's rather a neutral undertone. She had a certain amount of contrast on her, but as she aged, I don't see why she would use the same set of colors. The black weighs her whole appearance down. It's not a good idea, especially right near the face. Lauren back then was a deep winter type and Lauren now is a deep autumn type. And let's see why that's a certain transit. Lauren then, with a warmer type of hair, looked so much lighter in perception than Lauren now with pitch black eyeliner and this same hair color. She needs to fall in the category of rather dark but soft and calmer colors, with her neutral undertone that must be a transit of deep autumn and deep winter. Deep autumn because she was pulling off the golden tones and red pigment in her hair so well. That cannot be a solely true winter, and God forbid, bright winter. That's autumn to me. In both of these pictures, we see a red pigment in the hair. Lauren then and now look fantastic in this hair color. That I cannot say about the pitch black color. The black, almost choking outfit looks way too intense for her. The fabrics together with this color look too heavy and both these looks way her down drastically. The bright colors for Lauren back then and Lauren now, those are two different seasons she could work with and now she cannot. Even though she, uh, she has a nice contrast to her appearance now, this vivid brightness doesn't go well with her essence, not with her complexion. I don't like to use the overpowering word in the analysis, but that's probably the case where this term should fit. Again, we have another confirmation. Lauren back then and Lauren now should use two different color palettes. Lauren is an in-transition type of deep autumn and deep winter. While before she was able to pull off even bright spring, however, with time she uh, should rather opt for the autumn colors. This is for those of you who thought that Lauren is a soft summer I don't see any direct benefit of the grey color and soft summer, it's an absolute must. And thank you so much for staying here with me. I hope this information was new and useful for you. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below and see you in the next episode.